Day 14, town day, yay. Oh, I slept in nice and late, it's a little after 5 o'clock. Pretty groovy, it was a decently comfortable night, not super freezing or anything, a little cold, but nothing, nothing we're not used to. Armadillos, we're not used to those. Man, they make a lot of noise. Mm. I had to yell at the thing, it finally went away. I let it do its thing, but it kept getting closer and closer. I'm trying to go to sleep, but it's hard to go to sleep when something's rummaging through the woods like that. You know, and rummaging is what it's doing, man. Just making all this noise with leaves. But finally got too close to the tent. I was like, hey, go the hell away. And, and it did. I was like, well, I should have yelled at it like an hour ago. But, yeah, man, it's all cool. I wanted him to do his thing. He just kept getting closer. You know, don't do your thing close to me, man. Go do it over in the woods. That's what it's all about. All right, so I'm still going to make a cup of coffee. We got a little bit of walk ahead of us, but you know the sun'll be up by then, and you know um, we'll find a breakfasty place. They're they're probably just getting to work right now, just getting started. So you know you don't want to be too early. But yeah, town day. We're gonna take the day off. Oh, it's gonna be so nice. Sleep in a bed. Mmm. Hey, right. first coffee. We timed it pretty much perfectly. We still got a couple of snackies to make it into town with. We got a scoop full of coffee in the corner here. That's it. And a little bit of um, cocoa powder. I think we timed it perfectly getting into town. Didn't run out of food. I mean, there's still food there, so we're not out of food. No, this dude timed it perfect. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> oh, the sun is just starting to peek through the trees. Hello, son. Okay. I believe this is the trail right here. I'm going to scan, make sure I didn't forget anything. No, and we're off. This looks like a trail to me. All right. Oh, that was easy. Let's get to town. Cave Springs, here I come. Did you say a little sunrise and safety? I agree with you. Set the mood music. Do 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 Let's get high. Oh, this is a vine I had not noticed before. Look at those spikes on it. I'm gonna put my hand behind it to get the focus. All over it though. There's tons of them. Yeah, I would not want them growing around me. Maybe you're trying to fight your way through a bunch of those. No, thanks. Those are huge thorns. Why, why would a vine need such huge thorns? So dinosaurs don't eat it? They've been long dead, man. You can stop growing all your spines. Unless you're growing berries or something, there's really no real reason to grow some spines. Not like that. And I doubt they'll really show up on camera, but this part of the woods is filled with those purple flower trees. But the flowers are so small, I doubt most of them really pick up on camera. And it's kind of dark. Well, that ends that section. It didn't last very long. It's just a lot of purple trees in one section. I guess they're off to the edges still. Oh yeah, I should. Well, I'll wait till I get to the road. Huh? All right, fuck it, I'll check now. You never know if you get service or not. I had like one and a half bars of LTE last night, which meant that I could do stuff, and I also couldn't do stuff. You know, like I'd be halfway through a comment, and all of a sudden the screen would go to like, you have no internet kind of screen. I'm like, son of a bitch. <laughs> so I got partway into answering comments last night, and then I just got frustrated with it and stopped. And then started dealing with, there's a new thingy on my uh, app that edits my videos for me that now does something to each video. I can't remember what it's called, um, but it uh, 
It does something to make the process smoother, it says. But it has to do it for each video. And some of them take as long as like 30, 45 seconds for each video for the processing to happen. I realize I deal with 100 plus videos every time. So like the other night I had one that was 180 clips and videos. I put it in the thing and it only registers 100 because it never registers all of them. And then it's got to go through the processing of each one separately from 1% to 100%. Each one goes at a different speed depending on, I don't know, probably length. Maybe how much I move because, you know, that adds more pixels when I'm moving the camera around. I don't know. Uh, but after an hour or so, out of the 100, about 80 of them go through. So you have to cancel the whole thing, delete that whole video, start over. Okay, you put the 100 plus things in again. And this time it won't make you go through the process. It already made you go through the process. And then all the ones that didn't go in the first time go in the second time. So it's this like hour long step that I don't think adds anything to it but it's something I have to deal with with the videos now each video will take at least an hour longer to make on my stupid movie maker than it used to it's like I want to find a new app to do it through but there's so much learning curve and whatnot with these editor apps that I don't really want to go through that hassle on a trail this is the one I've been using for years it just started sucking I should jump ship but, oh, the learning curve and headache associated. Hey, these are footsteps. That's a footstep there. That's a footstep there. Yeah, those are footsteps in this stuff. And, I mean, it's quiet. Somebody could have walked by me last night and I wouldn't have noticed. Stuff doesn't crunch like leaves does. Well, I was in a leafy area. They couldn't walk by me, per se. Who knows how long footprints last in the in the pine needles. So. But yeah, definitely. I can see somebody's footprints. Maybe even two people, it looks like, to me now. Maybe it's a deer. I don't know. Where is this town? I feel like I should be there already, but I know I still have a couple mile road walk to do. And according to Early Riser, it's a really long road walk on the way out. So, you know, brace yourselves for that. Yes, yeah, so I'll break out the new camera and film that road walking. That's what that camera is for, man. Road walking. But after all the road walking I've done, I don't think a little more is going to hurt me. If it's anything under like 20 miles, it won't even phase me. I bet it's under 20 miles, too. I just checked and we still have almost a mile to do to the road. But it's all downhill. That matters. So today is, is kind of a big and different day in my world. Um, I have never, on the trails, called ahead and reserved a room. It's just not something I do. I, I do everything by luck, by seat of my pants, fate, you know, like, I, I love all that stuff. Like, uh, getting the ride into town in that free hostel stay from uh, Pastor Jeff. Like, that was just random, you know, I, I didn't call him. I mean, somebody else did, yeah, but like it all just worked out that I happened to be there, you know? Like, I love that kind of stuff. But <clears throat> I called this place um, only because I was emboldened by you guys. I I'd like everybody to take a moment and, and uh, you know, send good thoughts to our Patreon members. I appreciate you guys. I, I don't talk about you much or anything, but, you know, I don't really do Patreon much. You know, it's it's kind of new to me, too. I mean, I've done it before, <clears throat> but it just kind of sits there. I don't really do anything with it. At least this time I'm doing a little something with it. But we have broke the $100 mark. Thanks. And I know a lot of people think 100 bucks that's nothing. But in my world, I'm like, dude, that's a handful of breakfasts. That's like breakfast in every town I stop in every month. Uh, what? That's, that's hella awesome. Or I'm going to use it instead to stay in a room and get like two or three breakfasts. You know. But you know, I deserve a room, and I got a lot of stuff to upload and batteries to charge. And I could get that all done in a day in a small town. But it's a lot of just sitting outside, and I'm like, fuck that, man. You know, I, I got all sorts of stuff I want to do. Laundry and you know, shower. So much easier if I have a space. You know, just uh, the charging the batteries. You know, I can plug my batteries in somewhere in town, but then I have to keep a visual on them. <clears throat> or have a really good hidden spot. You know what, too? But even the really good hidden spot, somebody knows about those outlets. You know, they, <laughs> I'm not the first person to discover those. 
Uh, so, you know, you got to leave your batteries unattended sometimes. I've done it. It's worth the risk sometimes. You, you judge location, kind of people around, if there's people around. But none of that now. I'm able to, you know, drop ship and have a pack explosion, upload like crazy. That's why I've been just playing with uh, the videos on trail just to get that new process out of the way. Because, you know, I might make the video, it takes like an hour or so for it to do something to the videos. Optimize them. That's what it's doing. It's optimizing for me each individual fucking video. Um, and then it doesn't do anything. At the end, it says that some of them failed. Try again. And when it says some, it means like a quarter of them failed. So they're not even in there. You put in 100 clips, you're getting 70 out. So you delete the thing, you put all 100 back in, and boom, they all go in this time. No optimizing, no nothing. Like they've been pre-optimized. So I've been getting all that out of the way on the trail. Yeah, that's why I spent like an hour at a shelter the other day. I didn't really want to spend an hour there. But once I start the process, there's a really big cancel button on it. And I don't want to throw my phone in my pocket and have my thigh hit the cancel button. Uh, and I don't want to walk with it in my hand for an hour or so. That sucks. So it's like, I'll just stay here, man. Do your stupid optimizing thing. Technology, the easier it makes our lives, the more complicated it makes them. It's different complications. Anyway, enough rambling. Thank you guys. I appreciate this so much because I wouldn't be staying in this room without you. You know, I look at rooms as kind of a waste of money. Uh, not a necessity, but a definitely a um, uh, uh, luxury. There it goes. Where do I for? Man, I've been having problems with words lately. Is it the weed? Or is it early onset dementia? Yeah, I gotta wonder. Learning to read the footprints in the pine needles. I can tell they're definitely human. I believe there's at least two, possibly a third one. But every once in a while I see like a slide mark that shows that it is a, a shoe making it, not an animal. But what might look like just indiscriminate little clumps to you guys, I see as, as a trail, as a path. Somebody's footprints. Well, two of them, because like right here I can see there's, you know, unless they're walking with their legs spread really wide, there's definitely one on either side. Checking people is actually kind of fun on the trail when you're on a trail that leaves good footprints. Guessing their size, height, weight, sex, the religion. No. <laughs> but now you get a lot from a footstep. Not always right, but most often than not, I'm in the ballpark. But I don't remember reading much in the footprints on the AT, because as far as I remember, it's mostly like this. I think that was a skill I started acquiring on the PCT. Gotta be some places out here where you see footprints, because I remember ultra footprints out here. Yeah, it's just a majority of this thing doesn't leave a footprint. Like one that normal people can see. But that's two people's footprints. Nobody walks with their feet this close together. So it's like two people walking right there. Somebody's left foot, somebody's right foot. Uh oh, bunch of signs. It's one of those ones that points in all the directions. All right, on top of most important, Katad. Chattanooga, oh, Chattanooga, Tennessee. I was like, there's a Chattanooga. <laughs> um, okay, those are all in the same direction, too. There are little arrow car routes. I didn't notice those at first. I think that's an afterthought because they put them all up and we're like, oh, which way are we supposed to go? flying 
How's that, man? Key West, hey. Good old Flag Mountain. Oh, Flag Mountain's that way? Okay, that's not the way I came from, that arrow. I came from Key West area. I came more there. There's not a trail over here, by the way. This this whole thing pointing over there to Flag Mountain is a lie. Maybe that's the direction Flag Mountain is in, but that is not the direction of the trail, so. Okay. Hey, the Benton Mackay. Oh, I'm supposed to take a turn at that. Okay. I didn't know it was spelled like that. I only heard it pronounced. I've never seen it written down. Benton Mackay. Okay. Wait, I thought it was supposed to be on them, okay? Oh, shit. There's more signage up here. Let's go see what that says. Oh, good. It doesn't say anything. It just has a big old arrow. Oh. Hold on. That's mildly confusing, because... Well, we got a little turkey foot. We got a turkey foot telling me to take a ride, but we got a turkey foot down there, too. Well, what am I supposed to do? This must be a reroute, huh? Unhody Trail, Potts Hollow Trailhead. Okay, I don't care about trailhead, I care about town. I'm guessing this trail intersects the Benton Mackay more than once. Because it just hit it there, right? Um, but according to, and I don't remember his name, but he's the dude I met in the very beginning that wore orange. I want to say Eugene, but it was a normal human name. I don't remember those. But he said when I get to the Benton Mackay, I am taking a right. And then going down for a ways. I don't know how far it was. He would have given me numbers. He's that kind of guy. Um, and then left at Springer Mountain. Easy peasy, right? And I realized there'd be multiple intersects. Because I'm assuming, wow, big old signs. That is not the one. Just because the Katahdin sign on top told me to keep walking this way. That's where I'm ultimately headed. Yeah, shoulder sucks on this road. Nice potholes. I don't even repair them properly. Okay, a couple of those are decent jobs, but that's a half-ass job right there. But like if a car comes, I don't have much I can walk off on before I fall into the garbage pit. And so far, I've been on this road like three minutes and five cars, or six cars have passed me. That's busy-ish. Uh-oh, here comes a car. I'm gonna die. I've seen a lot of garbage on sides of trails, but I've never seen a statue. Pretty big stone statue, too. I'm gonna set him up, like, right there. Somebody once loved him. They even repaired his ear back in the day. Maybe somebody else will, too. Is it just painted black, or is there a big hole in the bottom of that door? I'm saying big hole. It hunts. I'm quite certain that there's a door in that door. But there's a sign and an easily scalable fence that you can actually probably just squeeze between. Um, tells you not to go in there, so don't go in there. Lay it in a bit. Do me a quick wardrobe change over here by the skeleton. This road stinks so bad, even I can smell it. I don't know if this is where everybody stops to poop. Or what. But yeah, there's a foul odor in the air. I can smell it as well as taste it. Trail of Tears, original route. Hmm. Didn't know I was on that either. I'm on all sorts of trails I didn't even know about. Skull. Hey, 
hills and no shoulder. Awesome. It's not sketchy at all. When you hear traffic get close, you take your poles, you put them out in your hand, and you hold them way in the air and wave them back and forth. That way, people see you before they clear the hill. I had to resort to swinging my stick like a wild man. I think people were reluctant to cross because the yellow double, and there was four in a row, five maybe, coming at me. And I know the back ones couldn't see me. So I just started waving my sticks all wildly because I can't go off the way. It's right into a barbed wire fence. You know, it's at a severe angle. I can stand right here. <laughs> but now I just started swinging my sticks all wild out. And, through, and they all just like one after another. <laughs> over. I'm like, yeah, that's what you get. The one girl I could tell she was screaming as she did it. Ah, her mouth's all wide open. I get calls. Crazy man waving colored sticks in the street. I really like those things. They bring me joy. Glad I found them. See, you can't even step off the road here, man. I should be on the other side for this. A baby skull face cow. Jump skull face. Skeletor. He's missing an arm, yet he does not bleed. He's got a Captain America shield on the other side. I'm halfway there. Halfway on the road walk, anyway. Damn, an old blue hair almost took me out, man. She was riding the line, coming down the way. Everybody else was moving. There was a young group of people, but now she was riding the line. And I could see her big blue hair standing out from a ways away. And she wasn't even looking at the road, man. I don't know what she was looking at, but it was down and to the right. Uh, <laughs> not quite passenger seat, more of center console. <clears throat> so I had to jump out the way. Literally had to jump out the way. I was like, damn! Gotta keep your eye out for him. See here, I got the option to walk over here. I'll do it. I don't mind walking in the grass, but I don't always on this road. That's a lot of stone stacking. Holy crap, I didn't even realize that. Just my personal opinion, but this has to be one of the dumbest things you can plant at the end of your driveway getting onto a road. You cannot see left, you cannot see right. It's just, uh, it's just not a good idea, man. Forces me out into the road. I don't mind that, it's only temporary, but like if I was in a car, no, I'd want to deal with that every damn day. You're asking to get creamed. Finally, sidewalk. And trail goes through the park, roll it her, roll it her park. But they make it pretty obvious. Appreciate you. A couple of them, just in case you weren't sure, but that one's got an arrow. Nice park. Yeah, I probably could have got away with stuff camping here last night. There's enough benches in there to hide me if I was laying on the ground. You can't see through all of them. If I string my tarp really low to the ground, I mean, it, it's got hard edges is what makes it stand out. I need camouflage, not that olive green. Um, there's a sign. I was like, where am I supposed to go now? I got distracted by animals. There's a squirrel over there. We all know I loves me a squirrel. Wonder how much action this gets. This is listed as a public pool, and there are lifeguard stations. And there's like a deck in the center that I have to assume all those pebbles I see on it are not pebbles, they're bird poop. 
but uh, doesn't really look like a swimming hole. Oops, let me see. Oh, the water's nice and clear. Just, you know, from here it's got that weird finish so I can't see into it. I mean, there's leaves all at the bottom, a thick layer, but, you know, that's natural. I'm not against that. I'd swim here. Steps that lead in. Yeah, it's still asking to be swam upon. I, just, I wouldn't hang out on the thing on the center, though, without bringing a broom with me. Maybe go sweep and got to get rid of some of that poo. Okay, I got no idea where I'm at or where breakfast is or anything. I was hoping to find, to walk by. Oh, shit, I don't even know if I'm on trail anymore. I should recheck, huh? It has been a minute. Um, but I was hoping to find that place I'm staying and have them recommend a breakfast place for me, but we'll find out. Well, I'm glad I looked for it because I had passed it up already. It's somewhere in here-ish. Oh, it is that building I was looking at, but I did not read that on the door. I didn't notice the sign until now. I read the door and I thought it said something academy. And I was like, well, I'm not looking for an academy. Maybe I am. See, the Hearn Inn, that's what I was looking for, but... Oh, it says Hearn Academy. See, I wasn't sure about the word Hearn, but I saw Academy. And that threw me off. Let's go in and see what's up. It's 9.30. It should be open, right? Fairly certain the door's locked. It could be just a door you gotta push real hard to open, but the door is squishy itself, it's old, and so if I push real hard, I might break the whole thing off the hinges, I do this kind of stuff. So, I'm going to assume that it's locked and they'll open later. Uh, there is a doorbell, but I don't want to push it. If your doors are locked, I, I'm not coming in. Alright, so, we're gonna go find breakfast. I'm just gonna go down to the heart of the city. Uh, the town and see what's up. There's something. There's always something. It is not a good sign when you throw in every search term you can for like, I, at first I was like breakfast near me and it kept taking me to this other town, Cedar Town, about a four hour walk away, which means uh, in reality it's like, you know, a day. It thinks I walk really fast, man. But anyway, um, uh, then I was like, well, it'd be more general, just food near me and still it's taking me to Cedar Town. It does. It's like, no, people don't eat here. I'm sure there's something. Google doesn't know everything. I got two turkey foots on this sign. Just so you know. Pen hotel. Then I'm guessing it goes over here. Oh, the two means turn. That's what it means. I oh, tell you, Jack, because this one has two on it as well, where they would turn it, they're going. Sobo. Hey, town proper. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything that looks open, foodie, no signs to say breakfast or anything sticking out yet. It's not a very big town either, so yeah. Gotta be something. That dude's passed me a couple of times. He's on his morning walk. Uh, and I was like, hey man, he's like, you look lost. I'm like, I'm not lost, I just need some breakfast. You know what? And he's like, no. And he's like, maybe this place will do it. And I was like, no, this place has all you can eat catfish. They don't they don't even open until 11. They don't do breakfast. <laughs> he's like, there's a gas station down there. And I was like, fuck, I guess, you know. That's, uh, that's where I'm headed, it's the gas station. We'll go check that out. Need to put something in my belly. Can't believe, how can they call themselves a trail town if they don't have breakfast, man? Oh, I'm so upset that I chose to stay on purpose in advance a town that has no breakfast. How, how, how does this happen? How? How <laughs> the humanity. Might as well stop by the supermarket. I'm not going to buy much, unless I have some breakfast -y stuff, of course, but I'm just seeing what my selections are. I'll purchase after I've got a room and I'm set up and whatnot. I don't want to carry the weight around. Has been confirmed. I talked to the grocery store people. There is nowhere to have breakfast in town. They say there used to be, but they all closed down. Ain't that a shame. So I bought a banana, um, a muffin, 
and a green pepper. Not much of a supply in there. Um, I'm not nearly as excited about this town stay anymore. It has lost all appeal since I found out there's no breakfast. All appeal. I feel as I've wasted my money. Oh, I haven't even stayed here yet, but I, I kind of reserved a room, so I feel obligated. And I do need to get stuff done. Okay, I'm still staying. I'm just gonna be all mopey about it. I totally forgot my trekking poles at the grocery store. Uh, well, just as I said that, that dude who rang me out uh, pulled up and was like, Hey, you forgot something? I was like, Awesome! <laughs> He's like, God's happy to get out of work for a few minutes. Greery, man. Okay, and that perks me up a little bit. It's no breakfast, but you know, hey, I didn't have to walk back a couple hundred yards. Oh, looky there, a sip and stroll. Up to this point. And bring your alcohol over here. Keep it in the town, man. It was a crappy breakfast. But I didn't have to carry it, I guess, so there's that. I'm just gonna sit outside. That's my place right there. Sit outside of it and wait for it to open. So I'm not gonna start uploading and stuff till I have plugins. I'm low on battery already. Well, my two main batteries are completely dead, and this battery is at 60%. So I'm not gonna start uploading until I have somewhere to plug in for sure. So that plate of food, I just found it funny. Uh, you know, I order all this stuff. The word fried was never in anything I ordered. And then when it showed up, everything was deep fried. <laughs> everything was deep fried, except the okra. Uh, I just, I found it hilarious. I had to take a picture. I don't always take pictures of my food, but you know, it made me laugh. This is the South and it's Southern cooking. So everything's gonna be deep fried. It's not even in the word. It's not deep fried okra, it's just okra. You know, which I'm cool with that. I like, I like fried okra. Well, I like that the word's not even in there. It's just, they're going to fry it all. Sit her down. Um, I looked on the map, because there's another hiker stand where I'm staying. She's headed in the other direction, though. Uh, she got on at Harper's Ferry, so she's got some trail legs going on already. Oh, all the way from Harper's Ferry to here, like, all winter long? What? Oh, crazy, I didn't even think about that. Uh, but she's like, yeah, the last town I was in was 100 miles away. But I looked on the map and there's one in 40 that has a real grocery store in Ingalls is what they call them out here. So I just picked up enough for like two days plus. You can't buy exactly two days worth of food. A box of bars has eight or ten bars in it, you know. But anyway. Uh, so I bought enough for two days worth of food. And I'll stop in in whatever town that is. Visit the Ingalls. Uh, there's a Piers there is a restaurant right across the street from it. So maybe I'll have a breakfast. It's like 40 miles away. Sit there, charge my stuff, and then boom, off to the next town. Yeah, it all work out. Yeah, uploading's going on pretty well. The Wi-Fi at the whatever I'm staying at, I can't remember the name, Hearth Home or something. I don't know. Anyway, it is pretty good. So I should have a bunch of new videos up before I leave. Have my phone all cleaned out. That'll be nice. If you're like me, you got triangles everywhere. Triangles stacked on top of your triangles, all in your way. You're tripping over triangles all the time. What are you supposed to do? Well, my friends, have I got a solution for you. Here you come on down to Triangle Storage, where we store all your triangles. 